AISEN new arrival H312 hot air gun is coming. The appearance is the same as H310D. The blower driver is upgraded to 8040 WM. Air speed increased by 50%. Heating core power improved to 1400W. 400W higher than the 1000W of H310D. Heating up faster. The operation interface of H312 is the same as H310D. This video takes H312 as an example. Air nozzle. H312 supports multiple air nozzles, including smooth and skew wind. Every nozzle includes four sizes, 6mm, 8mm, 10mm, 12mm. Users can install and disassemble it directly. Main interface. It can be seen that the H312 panel consists of two knobs and four small buttons. Turn on H312. We can see the main interface of H312. On the top bar, it shows the machine name, air gun status, power on time, software version, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and buzzer. Below is the desoldering mode of H310D. Press the left knob to switch modes. There are, standard mode, gentle connector mode, and, turbo mode. The progress bar on the left represents the power of the air gun. The progress bar on the right refers to the current air speed. The number in the middle represents the current temperature of the hot air gun. The shortcut temperature channels of the hot air gun are displayed at the bottom. You can press M1, M2, M3 buttons to switch. Above is the set temperature. The current set temperature is 200 degrees Celsius. Rotate the left knob to adjust the set temperature. The right one is the set air speed. Rotate the right knob to customize the airspeed. Single press the knob to switch between moderate wind speed, medium high wind speed, high wind speed, and low wind speed. Long press the knob to switch to cold air mode. Long press again to turn off the cold air mode. Remote upgrade. H312 supports remote upgrade. Connect one end of the Type-C cable to the computer. Then connect the other end to H312. Download AISEN software from AISEN official website. Open AISEN software. The software will recognize H312 automatically. We can see that no new version of H312 has been released yet. When a new version is updated in the future, select the version you want to upgrade to. Then click Upgrade to upgrade to the latest version. Curve Interface Press, Set, button to enter the curve interface of H312. The red number on the left represents temperature. The blue number on the right represents air speed. The green number below represents time. Double-click the, Set, button quickly to switch to the curve desoldering interface. Double-click the, Set, button again to switch to the segment desoldering interface. Continue to double-click the, Set, button to exit the curve interface. You can also exit the curve interface by single pressing. Curve desoldering. Long press the, Set, button to enter the expansion app interface. Rotate any knob or M1, M2 buttons to select, Curve desoldering. There are five inflection points to be set. You can set the temperature, air speed, and time of the five points. Users can rotate any knob to set parameters according to their needs. Press any knob to switch air speed and time. Because inflection point 1 is the initial point, its time cannot be set. After setting, press, set, button to save parameters. Press M3 button to return to the main interface. Press, set, to enter the curve interface. Double press, set, to switch to the curve desoldering interface and start working. Segment desoldering. Enter the setting interface of segment desoldering. There are five segments. Temperature, air speed, and time can be set here. After setting, long press the, set, button to save parameters and add them to the curve. Press M3 button to return to the main interface. Press, set, to enter the curve interface. We can see the segment desoldering. Starts working now. Element. Select element among the expansion applications. 
Currently, the segment desoldering parameters of CPU and NAND can be set. It is convenient to quickly switch between different segment desoldering modes when desoldering different elements. After setting, long press the Set button to save parameters and add them to the curve. Back to main interface. Enter the curve interface. Double press the Set button to switch. This is CPU segment desoldering. Switch to NAND. After setting, long press the Set button to save parameters and add them to the curve. Back to main interface. Enter the curve interface. NAND segment desoldering is working now. Settings. Select settings among expansion applications. Corresponding settings can be made for H312. The first one is, language. English and Chinese can be set currently. Spanish will be available in the future. The second one is, sounds. After turning off the buzzer, H312 will be in mute state. The third one is, Fast Wind. You can set the shortcuts, channels of low, medium, medium high, and high speed. After setting, return to the main interface. You can see that the value of the airspeed shortcut has changed to the set parameter. The fourth one is, Wi-Fi Set. Open AISEN software. Select Wi-Fi. Click the Wi-Fi name to be connected with. Click Connect. Enter Wi-Fi password. Click Confirm. To connect with Wi-Fi. The fifth one is, Theme. We can switch the theme between light and dark modes. The sixth one is, Display. This function will be available soon. The seventh is, Device Info. It includes device name, model, and software version, etc. The eighth is, Check Out. Later, you can connect with Wi-Fi through mini program of AISEN Assistant in WeChat. Search AISEN Assistant on WeChat mini program. Find the device name. Click Connect. Enter Wi-Fi password. And it can be connected with Wi-Fi. Connect with Wi-Fi successfully. After connecting with Wi-Fi, you can upgrade the software version on H312 directly. The ninth one is, Reset. You can restore all settings of H312. Click Confirm. You can see that all settings of H312 have been restored to factory settings. Turn off H312. Above are all the operation instructions of H312. To learn more about AISEN products and software update, please follow AISEN official YouTube channel AISEN Tech. More real-time updates on related videos will be posted.